Banksy, famous graffiti artist, famous for his sarcastic humor, social pop culture references that he implements in his pieces of artwork. His controversial art has gotten him in mainstream media, but a small detail about him is that even after being in a line of work for almost 30 years, he remains anonymous. Throughout his career, he's made pieces such as Girl and the Soldier, Napalm, Two Officers Kissing, Queen Victoria Lesbian, Follow Your Dreams, Cancelled. Um, th this piece of work and this one. Poor guy. Well, as you can see, Banksy stands out quite a bit from the rest for many reasons. <clears throat> anyway, this brings me to the painting known as Cave Painting Removal. This artwork has a lot going on, so let's get going. First off, let's talk about the man in the picture, which seems to be spraying water with a water machi machine of sort, shooting what seems to be a prehistoric cave painting. The man is spraying his machine at the cave painting. So we can assume he wants to take it down for whatever reason. In the cave painting itself, we see a couple animals and people with spears, bows, and arrows. And all of this is drawn like a real cave painting. Banksy seems to have used stencil as his main medium to draw the man shooting the cave painting. As for the cave painting itself, it looks like it was primarily done with sticks or brushes. Similar ways that a real cave paintings are done by cavemen. The art piece is primarily made with organic shapes. The man, the animals, and the hunters. But the only geometric shape in the picture being the man's machine. The cave painting looks like it could be smooth to the touch. The water shooting from the machine seems to be taking down the cave painting, and you can see the painting getting taken down. The cave painting, and you can see the cave painting dripping, making it seem like it's wet to the touch. The cave painting is somewhat three dimensional because the man is in front of the cave painting, and the piece is using a mix of cool and warm colors. Warm orange colors being used in the man's vest, dark red colors in some animals and hunters, but cool colors with the other half of the animals. The background of cave painting which seems to be grass and a grayish color for the man's machine. The meaning behind this art piece could be signifying where Banksy's main thought that the media is going to go or is heading to. How people are losing their creative roots, thus the cave painting. Losing it to the censorship and being held by, it, by either big companies or government figures. But let's get deeper in the meaning behind this painting. The man with the machine, let's call him the worker, because he looks like one, maybe hired by the city. But why would the city want a cave painting down? Maybe because it doesn't fit in what they filled? Because it's be it speaks a different language. This piece of art is trying to show in its own way how we treat it untainted raw creativity and instead of trying to hide it why not spread it and show it and learn from it and evolve from it next i will present to you my art piece it's called in the name of god father son and holy money the art itself the name of it itself essentially influenced 
on how religion plays a big role in this country, whether the role written of it it's for the better or good, better or worse. The words are written count your blessings in a really violent font with a stack of money on top of it. There's a lot of controversies involving money and religion. This is mocking the saying, count one's blessings, which means to be grateful for what you have. I've tried to replicate Banksy's dark, controversial humor, but changed it into my own style by making it more direct and straightforward to the point, and also giving it a hint of what the artwork means in both the name of the artwork and the art piece itself. The reason why I picked this art piece itself is because religion takes a big part of our society nowadays and it's been in our society for centuries now. And the reason why I picked specifically money involved and in the ways that it's a really controversial topic when it involves the government, the system that we live on, it's mainly due because it keeps it under wraps and it doesn't let it go. And even in the laws that we have to this day, it still has a big impact on them and on people's minds. And the reason why I chose to involve money, it's because Time and time again, we see people that either work on churches, are religiously involved in any way to religions in our system. Sometimes they take, in a way, they take advantage of all this and either steal or take advantage of our system. By the title itself, I should mock a prayer or an important sentence that our typical Christian church usually uses. And with the art piece itself, the piece of artwork, I try to implement the meaning behind that the biggest way that they take advantage it's with money involved. The people that mostly take advantage will be either people that work in the religion, either priests, uh, people that work in the sidelines, anything like that. At least this is a way that I've seen it been used or could be used and dried up by its meaning. If we go back to the name of the art piece, in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Money, I try to mock, again, in a humorous, dark way, that could be in itself controversial. The statement of the Holy Ghost, which the Holy Ghost is always looked up upon. But in this sort of way, the people who take advantage of this religion or the religion that they take advantage of spit on that image and seem don't care about it anymore by either their greed or their self benefit so this could portray my way of thinking how religion takes part in our government and our day-to-day -day lives and how it's mistreated and it's not necessarily evil or in some sort bad for dividing people it's people who misinterpret it and take whatever they want from it either by self-desire or again greed and this is just a small way to say this is how I portray this controversial topic about religion still being in their system and how it's being 
misused.